click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friend, in the previous lecture we have understood that is we can convert an aldehyde or ketone to alcohol by using Grignard nitrogen. But there is also alternative method where we could prepare the alcohol by reduction of aldehyde or by reduction of ketone. So this is what we are going to talk about in this topic. So now let us discuss about that. So friends, now in this topic we are going to discuss about that is how we can convert an aldehyde or a ketone to corresponding alcohol. So for that, let me explain the general reaction. So first if we consider the aldehyde that is RC double bond OH. So we have to do the reduction. Reduction means to convert this double bond C double bond O into a C single bond O along with that of an H. That is, we have to convert it into an alcohol. So for that, we need a certain catalyst and those catalysts that could be, that is finely divided nickel. we could say, like is, like it is nickel, or it could be platinum or it could be palladium or it could be that is sodium borohydride that is NaBH4 or it could be lithium aluminum hydride that is LiAlH4 or there is also an other alternative where we could use that is sodium amalgam that is NaHG along with that of water that is H2 and during the use of Rene nickel obviously we understand that is the hydrogen that can easily attach to this carbon double bond O and that is how we can produce an alcohol so that nesken hydrogen suppose if we are representing like this way that is two moles of H over here and that is how basically one of the hydrogen will attach over here while the other hydrogen it will get attached over here so now let us understand that is what is the product that we could get over here that is it would be r c h while this one would be converted into this oxygenate will be converted into oh and the another hydrogen it will attach over here so this is a kind of an addition reaction and especially it is known as reduction the alcohol that is been produced over here that is because of the reduction of the aldehyde and in this case we could understand that is the formation of a primary alcohol takes place so now let us understand the what is the reaction if the ketone is been reacted with the nescan hydrogen so now let us understand the reduction of ketone again the same condition would be applied over here that is suppose if we consider a ketone that is r c double bond o r dash and suppose we are reacting it in presence of rene nickel as a catalyst or we could say that is in presence of sodium amalgam that is NaHg along with that of water. Obviously this will produce nascent hydrogens. So that nascent hydrogen it would get attached to the carbon double bond O and that is how we could get a product and that is RCR dash. So this will be as it is while this double bond O or this oxygen atom it will be converted into that is OH while the other hydrogen atom that would acquire the other valency of the carbon and that is nothing but H. So this is how we have obtained an alcohol, but this alcohol is especially, it is secondary alcohol. So that is how basically this were the general reactions of uh, the reduction of an aldehyde as well as keto. So let me give you a few examples and let us understand the more topic related to this thing. So let me make you understand that is in a simple example that is suppose if we consider acetaldehyde that is CH3, C double bond O, H. And again suppose if it is reacted with Rene nickel or we could say that is the above condition that we have mentioned over here that is sodium amalgam in presence of H2O. Obviously with the presence of that is two nesken hydrogen atom this would be converted into CH3, CH here also there will be H while here it will be OH. So this is nothing but ethanol. So similarly we can also treat the nesken hydrogen that is because of the Rene nickel or that could be because of the sodium amalgam in presence of water and that is how we can convert the ketone into a secondary alcohol. But talking about the other reagents or the other catalysts like lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride. So lithium aluminum hydride is actually very expensive compared to that of the sodium borohydride. And for example, suppose if we have to prepare that is an unsaturated aldehyde. So for that we can use that is lithium aluminum hydride because lithium aluminum hydride it specifically it only reduces the C double bond O and it will not reduce the carbon double bond carbon. So that is how suppose if we have to prepare the unsaturated alcohol. So suppose if we have to prepare the unsaturated alcohol, so we have to consider an unsaturated aldehyde 
of which we could do the reduction process and that is how we can obtain an unsaturated alcohol. So this is how we can prepare the alcohol by using the aldehyde and ketone and by using the catalytic reduction process. We can use other substances also or the other reagents also like suppose that is lithium aluminum hydride or we can also use that is sodium borohydride. But the lithium aluminum hydride is very much expensive compared to that of the sodium borohydride and moreover there is also a tremendous use of and also there is a tremendous use of lithium aluminum hydride. For example if we have to prepare an unsaturated alcohol so obviously we have to take the unsaturated aldehyde but if the unsaturated aldehyde consists of carbon double bond carbon and obviously it will consist of that is carbonic group that is C double bond O. So while using that is lithium aluminum hydride the lithium aluminum hydride will be helping to convert only the carbonyl group to an alcohol but meanwhile this carbon double bond carbon it will remain as it is. So that is how obviously lithium aluminum hydride is very much selective in its action and that is how we can prepare an unsaturated alcohol. So this was one of the methods where we can prepare the alcohol by using the aldehyde. But there are other methods also so that we can convert the aldehyde into or ketone into their respective alcohol. So now let us understand that topics also. So the another alternative method to prepare an alcohol is by using the aldehyde or ketone. So this is I am representing the general reaction. But in this case the, in the previous one, in the previous one we have taken an example where we have introduced that is rene nickel or we could say that is sodium amalgam in presence of water and that is how basically it has produced that is two moles of nesket hydrogen that is zinc amalgam. So zinc amalgam in presence of a concentrated HCl. Obviously whenever a zinc amalgam is been treated with concentrated HCl it will produce four nesket hydrogen atoms. So here is what I am representing here as four nesket hydrogen atoms out of which the two nesket hydrogen atoms will be responsible to take away this oxygen atom and that is how basically the water molecule is produced as a byproduct while the rest of the two hydrogen or the rest of the two nesket hydrogen that will be very much responsible so as to convert this C double bond O to CH2. So this kind of conversion of the carbonyl that is C double bond O to CH2 that is a methylene group is basically known as Clemenson reduction. So this reaction is basically known as Clemenson reduction. So we can take the example like acetaldehyde or we can take an example like acetone and we can use this reaction or we can use this reagent to give us this reaction so as to obtain an basically an alkane. So for that let me give an example that is suppose if we consider that is CH3 CHO and suppose if it reacts with that is zinc amalgam along with that of if we have used that is concentrated HCl obviously it will produce four nesket hydrogen atoms and this is how basically this C double bond OH it will be converted into that is CH2H CH2H is nothing but CH3 so this is nothing but we could call it as ethane so this is how we can convert the aldehyde into ethane or into alkane so this is one of the reaction and now let me talk about the next one and the next one is so now there's another reaction suppose if we have considered aldehyde or ketone and suppose if we are reacting with that is hydrazine and that is nothing but NH2 NH2 so this is the reaction that we have did earlier also so in this case basically we could find that this reaction is basically a condensation reaction and that is how basically the H2 molecule it will be removed and the molecule that will be formed it will be C double bond N NH2 which is nothing but hydrozone but this hydrozone on treatment with that is QH or a strong base QH in the presence of that is ethylene glycol this is how we can convert the hydrozone into CH2 while the rest of the thing that is this N2 it would be eliminated from this hydrozone and that is how we can prepare an alkane so this is how we can prepare an alkane if we have that is used that is an aldehyde or if we have used a ketone. So this kind of reaction that I have mentioned over here is basically known as Wolf-Kishner reaction. So again this is the method to convert or to give the reduction of aldehyde and ketone and now let us move on to the next one.
So in this case, we are going to react a ketone with a magnesium. So let us see that what is the reaction happens and how, why it is basically it is known as reduction of the ketone. So let me give you that idea. Suppose if we have consider that is an acetone that is CH3 C CH3 double bond O. And suppose we are using two moles of acetone that is CH3 C here it is CH3 and this is double bond O. And suppose if we are reacting it with magnesium. And that also the reaction proceeds in presence of benzene as a solvent. So in presence of benzene, you will find that is as we know that is magnesium is a divalent compound or it is a divalent metal. So that is the reason that we could find that is a complex would be formed and that is nothing but CH3. C, here it will be CH3. This will be O, Mg. Here also there will be O which will be attached to that is this one, that is this carbon, CH3. And here also there will be CH3 or methyl group. While this carbon and carbon, they will be having a bond between them. But on further hydrolysis or on further reaction with that is dilute HCl, it has been found that is the MgCl2 is released as a byproduct by the rest of the thing that is this is a molecule that we have. So now this molecule will be converted into CH3, C, CH3, this oxygen will be converted into that is this will be converted into OH while the rest of the thing even this oxygen atom will convert into OH and this is the CH3 and this is CH3. So this is nothing but a diol and this diol is basically known as pinacol. This where the certain reduction of aldehydes and ketones that I have represented over here. So that's it. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know various ideas that is how the reduction of LDR and ketone can take place. So that's it. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.